Available adaptive cruise control is designed to help you maintain a driver-selected following gap from the detected vehicle you're following. If your vehicle has this feature, you'll see the adaptive cruise control icon in your driver information center that looks like this, or like this. This feature uses a camera and available radar. When engaged and it detects a vehicle ahead of you, it can automatically maintain the following gap you select, far, medium, or near. If a slower vehicle moves out of your lane, your vehicle will accelerate back to your set speed. To turn the feature on, press the cruise control on-off button on your steering wheel. When the system is turned on, you'll see a white adaptive cruise control icon on the vehicle display. You can set the speed using the set or minus button. Or you can drive as normal until your desired speed is reached. Then press the set or minus button to have the adaptive cruise control store the driver selected cruise speed. The white adaptive cruise control icon will change to green, which means the system is engaged. And in some vehicles, the set speed will also change to green. Once engaged, Press the gap setting button on the steering wheel to select a far, medium, or near following gap between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead. When you first press the gap setting button, the currently selected gap setting displays briefly on the instrument cluster and head-up display, or HUD, if equipped. Each press of the button cycles through the far, medium, and near gap settings. If you'd like to increase your speed, tap the resume or plus button when engaged or use the accelerator pedal to reach a different speed. Then press the set or minus button. Keep in mind that when you use the accelerator pedal while adaptive cruise control is active, the green icon will change to blue, which means that adaptive cruise control automatic braking is temporarily disabled until you release the accelerator pedal. To resume adaptive cruise control, take your foot off the accelerator. To cancel adaptive cruise control, press the brake pedal. To return to the stored set speed, press the resume or plus button. If the system doesn't detect a vehicle ahead, adaptive cruise control works just like cruise control and maintains a driver selected cruise speed. When the system detects a vehicle in the driving lane ahead, the vehicle ahead icon will light up and it will adjust the speed to maintain the following gap. To temporarily increase the following gap, press and hold the gap setting button on the steering wheel when the vehicle is moving. The following gap between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead will temporarily increase to allow for merging traffic. Press and hold the gap setting button when the vehicle is stopped to cancel adaptive cruise control from resuming automatically, if the stop is brief, and remain stationary. This can be used to allow traffic to merge between you and the vehicle ahead. Then press the resume or plus button or the accelerator pedal to resume adaptive cruise control. The following distance gap will return to the original selection after hold. Adaptive cruise control can follow a vehicle ahead to a complete stop under most driving conditions. When the vehicle ahead starts moving again, you should check that it is safe to proceed. Then continue to follow the vehicle ahead by pressing the accelerator or the resume or plus button. If you don't respond soon after the vehicle ahead starts moving, the vehicle ahead icon will flash and you'll get either an audible alert or a haptic alert via the available safety alert seat. If the vehicle ahead suddenly slows or stops, a forward collision alert can warn you to take action quickly. Adaptive cruise control has limited braking ability and may not have time to slow the vehicle enough to avoid a collision with another vehicle you are following. You can stop using adaptive cruise control at any time by tapping the brake pedal, pressing the cancel button, or pressing the cruise control on off button. With adaptive cruise control engaged, you don't have to constantly adjust your speed for traffic. You can focus on what's happening on the road around you.